Hello guys, this is Off from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode. Without delay, let's go and let's see what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how to easily install a image of link stack on Docker. I'm going to use Portainer. I already got code up and ready for you. You can find out in the gist and I'm going to link all the information you need in the description below. With link stack, you can actually host links like just like Linktree and you can actually help others as well. You can actually run instances like they do these people here to host other people's links, just like Linktree. You can open your own account free and here we go. That's how simple. Now I'm going to show you how to run your own instance on your Docker. It's very simple. Let's go back to the official Docker image. Here you find all the information you need to install it on Docker. We're going to use a port here to make it easy and we're going to go to stacks and I'm going to create a new stack. I'm going to name it link stack. And as I said, here, for example, there is a GitHub for link stack. Again, all the information are here. You can easily install it in other ways as well. This is not just the only way to install it. Okay. But I'm going to use the easy way that I believe is much easier for people to, you know, to follow. Now, here we go and we got the actual guest files, the actual code for, for you to install it. Just need to change a few lines. For example, on 7, 8, and 9, you want to change your domain and also your email. Again, you can change the ports if you need to. Don't forget to change the one on the left side, not the one on the right side. I already changed those ones to reflect my installations on my um, Docker here. So if I go back here, as you can see, I got many other things, many other apps running. So that reflects exactly what I already have. Okay. So I won't have copies. So once I'm up with that, let's, let's copy it again. Just again, I don't remember if I did copy. I'm copying it. I'm going back to my portainer. Let me close this one up here and I'm going to paste it just like that. So once I'm happy with it, all I'm going to do is press deploy. All right, so I'm going to deploy the stack while I'm deploying it. So while I'm deploying it, I already got my domain set up with right port 8011. So if I go back here, as you can see, 8011. Again, if you want to run HTTPS, you use this port here. And do not forget to get the free SSL certificate for the actual domain. Then we got already open the pager. Again, I give it 502 because it's not installed yet. Now we're going back, waiting for the installation and we should be ready to go. And as you can see, the stacks being done, ready to be and available. Again, I'm starting. So let's go and have a look at the information. So as you can see, is in doing this job in the background, ready to start. Now we go back to containers and we leave it a few minutes to do its thing. All right, so a has turned healthy, so it looks everything's good. Go to my domain and let's start here. All right, let's go back to container and let's have a look why it's not doing it. All right, so it's asking for the setup. So let's go through the setup with the actual IP here. Everything looks good. Go next, next. I'm going to use SQLite. It's up to what you want to use. All right, I'm going to create the admin account for this one here. And again, I already got this domain here on my account. So I'll copy that. All right. And I'm going to add the password. There we go, and we go to our, the um, handle and the actual name. I'm going to press next, uh, not now. Enable registration if you want to do that. Enable email verifications. And if you want to set up as home page, I'll say no for now. And the app name, I'm going to leave it as it is link stack. And I'm going to press finish setup. And as you can see now, you're actually running your own instance on your docker ready to go all right so let's go to the open source channel dot uh, osc uk 
Now, the only way it works is with the port. The port is not being forwarded somehow. But anyway, we just go along with this and we're going to go log in with email and the password that I have created. So let's go back here. I'm going to say paste and I'm going to add the password. Say no and let's go back here. And as you can see, now we go the dashboard for link stack for my particular account. Again, people can register, you know, without any problems. Uh, let's go back here. As you can see here, you, people can actually register exactly as I've done it before. So there's the admin side and there's the user side. This is the user side, as you can see, and I can actually administrate my pages. The that's the actual domain. And again, if I want the links, all I gotta do, just create a link by adding links, like you do with link tree. And again, everything will be available to view on your personalized page. So here you see the preview and how it looks on a desk and on the actual uh, mobile phone. Uh, yeah, mobile phone, for example, on right side here and you can actually add new links here as well if you want to and it will take you exactly the same place here is the administration side configuration then you got the actual site configuration you can manage the users again it's only one user now here and then you can actually look at your profile once you've done everything and you can actually modify it with your own information. And as you can see here is the page URL. So technically is the actual domain name forward slash. Let's go and let's open a new one here. Forward slash at, I think it is this one. One, one I, uh, is that the one? Yes, that's the one I done. And as you can see, this is the actual page that looks like it. You can change. Uh, I don't know if you can remove powered by uh, link stack. I presume you can. Uh, let's go to uh, DIMMs or templates. Nice. Uh, again, I can only see one. I'm sure you, there are many others you can actually download. Let's go to download DIMMs. And as you can see, there are many for you to choose from and update the current installation or the current um instance on your docker so anyway guys thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i'll see you next time